Welcome back to the 380 ACP Ammo Quest, where I have been testing a wide variety of rounds out of a pocket pistol, the Taurus TCP in particular, but basically any pocket pistol with about a 2.8 inch barrel these results should apply to, to find out, you know, how they perform and what the best defensive rounds would be. And I've been asked the question over and over and over and over, why won't you test Buffalo Bores Plus P Ammo? I don't do it because plus P is a non-standard caliber. It is not standardized by the standard setting organization. And, and just about every pistol out there warns in its manual, do not use 380 plus P. Just don't do it. Uh, on the other hand, Buffalo War says we've done it and it's safe. So people may be confused about this. There are actually a couple of pistols out there on the market that are rated to be able to handle 380 plus P, like the Beretta Pico or the uh, Car P380. Those actually, the manufacturers claim they can, no matter what the 380 plus P ammo is, those guns can handle it. I don't have one of those. So I am quite hesitant to shoot plus P out of this gun. And yet somebody bought this ammo and sent it to me and said, here, test this. So I figured out a way to do it. I basically, I have what I consider either a bad choice or another bad choice. And so I think I've settled on what the lesser of those two evils is. I'm going to try firing this ammo out of my nine millimeter because a nine is built to handle pretty much anything that a 380 plus p is going to throw at it and when you look at the specs on these rounds what the ammo that we're talking about today is buffalo bore's uh flat nose hard cast ammo in 380 standard pressure and 380 plus p and in 380 plus p the numbers that it throws down look very much like nine millimeter and there's you know, I'm, I'm not exactly a rocket scientist, but I do have a little bit of brains in my head. And I'm thinking there's pretty much no way to get a bullet up to nine millimeter performance when it's exactly the same size as nine millimeter, unless you're putting pressure behind it that is comparable to what a nine millimeter would do. So I would not want to try running this out of my 380, but it will chamber, it will fit in the nine millimeter, a nine millimeter will fire a 380. It'll only do it once and the, the shell is held in place by the extractor, so it's not a great idea. But seeing as I'm only gonna do two or three rounds, I figure this is the best way to go. So with the nine millimeter pistol, the barrel is three inches, still very comparable to the 2.8. We should be able to get results that are very representative of how this ammo would perform from a 380. So a flat nose, hard cast, 100 grade, solid lead bullet in standard pressure and also in plus P. How do they perform? How much more do you get by going with plus P? We're gonna test it in clear ballistics, uh, synthetic ballistic gelatin, and we're gonna find out what these rounds really do and whether it's worth going to them. The standard pressure 380 hard cast penetrated a tremendous distance. One of them stopped at 39 and a half and the other one stopped at 42 inches. So considering normally our cutoff for over penetration is 18 inches, I think 39 and a half represents quite a bit of over penetration and 42 is even worse. The plus P version of the hard cast bullets penetrated even further, 44 inches, 45 and a quarter and 45 and three quarters inches. They came close to over penetrating three blocks, four feet of gel end to end. I don't normally show the damage tracks of full metal jackets because they're usually pretty tiny, but given that this is a flat nose and a hard cast and I figure people might be interested in seeing it, here it is. This is the damage track from a standard pressure round. As you can see, it's a little tiny thin channel. No expansion, no big damage, just poking a little hole for comparison, here are damage tracks from the plus P version, where you will see, yeah, it ain't much different, is it? Still, little itty bitty damage tracks. The bullet exam for the Buffalo Bore hard cast bullets. We got the standard pressure up top and the plus P down below. And uh, yeah, there's pretty much nothing to see. They are hard cast bullets. You can see there's no deformation whatsoever. That's really their advantage is that being a hard cast, they will smash through bones or whatever else and not get deformed and not fly off target. So given that, there's nothing really to see here. They don't expand. They didn't get deformed. They just look pretty much just like what they should. First of all, let me just point out that surprisingly enough to me, not only did the rounds fire out of the 9mm pistol, but they actually cycled the action and 
loaded the next round. So I fired off three, four, five, six at a time getting chrono readings and they all worked. Surprised by that, but I'll take it. Um, as far as how they performed, uh, they worked, but I'm left with the thinking like Dr. Nefario in Despicable Me when he created the fart gun and he, you know, he got the name wrong. And so Gru was like, no, I meant dark gun or whatever else it was. And so Dr. Nefaria was left saying, hmm, good, because I was wondering under what circumstances we would ever want to use this. And that's where I'm kind of at with this ammo. Uh, why do you want a round that's going to penetrate 41 inches in standard pressure? And if you had that, why would you then want to go to plus P Put your potentially put your gun at risk or your safety at risk or whatever. You know it'll wear the gun out sooner, and who knows how hot this ammo is and if it if it creates potential risk. I don't know. And what you get is four more inches of penetration, forty five inches. What are you going to do with that? What uh, under what circumstances does this round make sense? A hard cast bullet, a flat nose hard cast. That's a hunting bullet. You know that's something that you take. You get you get a big gun, a, a 4570 or something, and, and you, you go hunt African game and you, you load up with a big hard cast bullet. That's what makes sense. Or if you're carrying a, a Magnum revolver for bear defense, you might want to load up with a hard cast bullet. But are we defending ourselves against bears with a 380 pocket pistol? It doesn't make any sense to me. 380 is used pretty much exclusively for personal defense. Why would you want a personal defense round that's going to penetrate nearly four feet? It makes no sense to me. We consider the idea of over-penetration. This, this round over-penetrates more than anything I've tested. So there may be a use for it, but I don't think it's appropriate for personal defense. I would not recommend going elk hunting using a little TCP. So I don't get it. I, you know, if you have a use for this, hey, I gave you the numbers, I show you what it does. If you can make a case for it, you go right ahead. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you uh, tuning in, spending time here. And if you like what you saw, hit the like button. And also if you hit the subscribe button, you'll be notified next time a video is posted.